What's going on, guys? Um, a friend of mine messaged me saying that he couldn't believe the success of Donald Trump. And, and frankly, in the beginning, I couldn't believe it either. I was like, how is this guy becoming so popular? And he asked me to do this video because he knows I'm a big um, Bernie Sanders fan. So he wanted to see what I thought in contrast to Bernie, what's going on with Donald Trump. Well, it, from looking at both debates, I, I'm starting to see why he's being, why he's so popular and why he's killing everybody in the polls. Now, the polls are different than actual voting because right now we're just taking polls with uh, different Republican uh, supporters or vice versa. Same thing with Bernie as well. We don't know who's, if they're going to actually vote for Bernie. But let's get back to Trump. Um... The second debate, they said he was at 50%. It, 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 out of 16 guys, that's amazing, everybody. Like, just think about that. 50% from um, 15, 16 people. So, I the reason my this is my reason, of course. My reasoning for him being so popular is that he's doing the same thing what Bernie is doing. He's basically saying he's bringing attention to money and politics. He's bringing attention to what's going on with our politicians being bought. And he's an outsider. He's not a politician. And Bernie, on the other hand, is a politician, but he's, a, he's like an anti-establishment type politician where he's bringing attention to issues that not many, pay, not many other politicians are bringing attention to. So Donald Trump is actually shaking up the Republican landscape because he's making, like we saw in the last debate, if anybody has watched it, they are forced to bring up mon money in politics because of Donald Trump. And that was unheard of in past elections. They would never, ever bring up money in politics. So you saw the, the, the exchange between him and Jeb saying that, uh, oh, I he tried to buy me and I said no, and it's a back and forth. Donald Trump says, stop lying, stop making stuff up. Little things like that make supporters or even Republican voters go, hey, I like this guy. He has a strong personality, which a lot of Americans love, not, not just um, Republican voters. A lot of um, American voters love that confidence. They love that brash kind of way of talking. And they, they rally around that. So with a combination of the way he talks, it could be like over the top at times. Just with the way he talks and the attention he's bringing to money and politics and to calling them puppets and so on and so forth, a lot of Republican voters are saying to themselves, as the same with Democratic voters and independents with Bernie Sanders, I don't like what's going on. I don't like the fact that my politicians are bought and they're not speaking for me. And this man is bringing attention to it, and he's not a politician. He's telling us that, yes, he did it himself. He bought on both sides of the aisle, Democrats and Republicans, to get what he wanted. So, they're like, whoa, I like this guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vote for this guy. You see, it, we don't know yet if they're going to vote, because we haven't got to the primaries yet. This, we're just going by polls. That's yet to be seen. If they think he's an actual valid candidate to be president, we shall see. The other thing is that not just Republican voters, Americans in general see money as success. So he's a billionaire, and he's constantly telling everybody, I'm a billionaire, I'm successful, I'm confident, and I'm not bought. Nobody can buy me because I'm a billionaire. And I have all my money. I'm not using anybody, any donor money. So nobody can buy me. And that's what's resonating with Republican voters. And I see that. He's the confidence, the way he speaks to people, um, and the fact that he's rich and a businessman, the same thing with Bush. People, oh, he's a businessman, successful, blah, blah, blah. Let's get him. Let's put him in. Same thing is happening with Trump. And also, he's igniting a couple of issues 
it could be uh, you know a little racial that he's calling out you know Mexicans and immigration and but to a lot of Republican voters that's a big issue and a very close issue to a lot of them so that's why it's he's getting the base all riled up so some interested uh, in some instances I can't stand Trump but the one thing I can say and I applaud him is that he's shining a light that we would have never seen in, if he wasn't there. Bernie is doing it on the, on the Democratic side, showing that our Republicans, I mean, our politicians are being bought by billionaires. And Donald Trump is actually a billionaire saying to people, yes, I am doing this. I am buying your politicians. They do my bidding. So, that's my take on it. If they're going to vote for him, I don't know. We have to see. But what do you think, guys? Why is Donald Trump being so, why is he so popular and why is he igniting such an excitement with the Republican Party? But with the, the, the corporate Democrats can't, I mean, the corporate Republicans, excuse me, can't stand it because they can't out-bully Donald Trump. And I love to see Chris Christie squirm, squirm around because he's usually the bully. And with Donald Trump on that stage, he can't out-bully Trump. And if you guys like this, comment, subscribe to my channel. What do you think? Tell me what you think about Trump. Until stay focused, you take care, guys.